up, y'all friends? In today's video, I'm gonna do kind of a haul. I've already filmed this and then it didn't turn out, so I am re-filming it, basically. Uh, before that, though, I want to show you guys. I moved around my space. And that is partly because my last video <laughs> turned out so bad. So, you guys might remember that I actually had these on top of each other. I had a set of four. Oh my god, it looks so bad in filming. So, I have moved everything around a little bit, and now I have three here, and I'm gonna create like a plant section. <laughs> this is just, just starting out. This is a money tree that my um, mother-in-law got me, so I put it in this new pot. I love this pot. Um, so I'm cre creating a little nook of plants. I love plants. Um, this is where my window is. I used to have blinds up, and then I took them down because my window was broken. I had to get the window fixed. So the window got fixed, so now I put these back up. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers do kind of like a white blind with like lace over top. It wasn't my intention to copy people. I'm just using what I had. So that's what I did. <laughs> um, this could change. I could get colored blinds. I don't know yet. It, I could make it my backdrop. If I, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But that's what I did there. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on here. Most of the time, I think I'm going to film from like this angle. So you won't really see what's over here. But I still have all my luminary in here. I have my calendar that I write what's going to go up for filming. That video is not going up. And yeah, so over here, I have my desk. I have now moved it fully over. So I'm only using this portion of my desk. Um, I now have this camera is gonna be my overhead camera because it just films so good. I don't need my face to look perfect, you know? I need my, I need the hands to look perfect. So, I move this here and that's kinda kinda stay there most of the time. And then I can just kinda move it out of the way. Now I have a laptop here that I use to watch videos while I film. And, um, I can actually hook up my camera and make sure that I have everything in frame and stuff. So. Yeah, and then I put one of the desks here, basically as just a desk for my computer, but I, I don't know. I kind of think that this ended up turning out way better. Um, I just feel like this suits the area better. It looks cleaner and crisp. Okay, so I put my camera on the truck. Yeah, so this is kind of like the angle I think I might try to film myself at, and then I'll do nails like this. I don't know, we'll see. It might work out, it might not, but let's start with the haul. My last video. <laughs> I opened up and showed you guys my reaction to a gift I got from my friend Kelsey from Kelsey's Claws. So she makes these resin gel palettes and she hand paints amazing designs on them. So I thought, she, I didn't know she hand painted them. So when she sent it to me, I was actually completely shocked. It was, it's so beautiful. So I can't show you guys my reaction just because the video was so bad. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like here now and then I'll show you guys some of the clips and footage that I had in that video of it up close. So, this is what it is. So she made me Princess Jasmine. I've already used this and it's great. So you put your little gel on here and then you can just do your art from your gel palette and then you just wanna wipe it off with some alcohol and let it air dry. And yeah, so she hand painted that. Isn't that crazy? It's so good. So I'm gonna leave everything down below. So let's take a look at her Instagram. I'll show you guys her Instagram. So she does a bunch of cool stuff. She does Alice in Wonderland. She can do, just basically hand paint anything you want. Recently I saw her do a logo of someone's business logo. So that's pretty cool too. Um, you can get any of your di favorite Disney character. She's your dogs. I saw her draw someone's dogs on there. So she's very talented. Definitely check her out. She's also lovely and amazing and has a YouTube channel, which I will also link down below. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Um, the next thing I got, I've already filled it because like I said, last video didn't work out. Um, I bought a brand new brush holder. So this is how it has turned out. Um, when I bought this, it comes with these beads. 
I bought two of these and then I took the beads from the second one and I stuck it in here because I found it it's holding my brushes so straight and I, it, that's just what it would uh, that's just what it needed so this has a, a little like this and the reason I wanted this was because all my uh, uh, gel brushes from glitter balls don't have lids and I didn't want the dust or anything to get onto them so basically one big lid <laughs> so that's what I got there and they're all not touching the walls or sides or anything so using the both packs of the pearls really helped and then on this side there's tiny drawers they're so cute so I put lint free wipes in the top and then I put cotton pads in the center and then I put um, q-tips on the bottom so this is very handy I got this from Amazon I'll link it down below for you guys the next new thing I got in is super small but I really, really like these tiny gold rings from BMA Beauty Box. I bought four packs of these. I bought every color they had. So they have rose gold, gold, silver, and uh, gun metal. So I got all those because these are just the best. They just, just look so good. Ow. They look so good with Swarovski crystals on a finished set. So that's why I got more of these because I love them. Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys some stuff I got in for the nail throne which is my site if you guys didn't know that i own the nail throne so i just want to make sure that i'm disclosing that in every single video that you guys know i am the owner of nail throne and if you order from the nail throne i profit from sales okay so we got more loose glitter <laughs> i took so much so i'll show you guys some of the colors that we got in these are so nice um there's some new colors here i'm gonna actually put over top the video footage of what I had taken for the glitters. So I'll just talk about the glitters a little bit and then overlay the video footage that I already took. So uh, these glitters, you probably know from a video I did a little while ago, but they are just loose glitters and they're just mixed. Some of them are plain like gecko. This one gecko it is just a plain mixed glitter. It's blue and purple and beautiful, but some of the other glitters, for example, come in like fine, medium, chunky, and multi-mix. So gecko is just gecko. And then something like rogue is a mix. So we just got rogue in. This is a beautiful uh, red. In my other video, I mentioned it's not really like a Christmas red. It's more like a ruby red. It's very beautiful. So this one is mixed. So you could also get this in fine, medium, and chunky. You know what I mean? So that was Rogue. So the next one I want to show you guys is called Peony. And this one is a beautiful medium, like kind of rosy medium pink. And it doesn't have any other glitters in it. It's just a one color mix. Oh, this one. I love this one. This one's called Amethyst. It's probably my favorite one out of the new ones. Just because it's such a rich, beautiful, deep purple. I'm really into it. This kind of like peony where it's just the one color. Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about here is called Royal. So this one is just a solid blue and it is medium. So it, you could use it as like a sugar glitter or you can mix it in with your nails. But yeah, I really like this one. It's just like one solid color. No holographic added. Ooh, this one. Oh, so pretty. So this would be amazing sugar glitter. Um, this one's called the Chameleon and this one is fine. So you could definitely sprinkle this in on top of hand painting or on the whole nail and it'll just give like such a beautiful look. So I really want to do a set with this soon. Just show you guys what the chameleon looks like. Okay, some other stuff we got in. Oh yeah, this one. Okay, so sugar honey. Sugar honey is like a rose gold mix with like pink. It's very similar to Darling. So I'll show you guys a comparison of the two of them. The thing is I thought Darling was way more rose gold, but now compared to Sugar Honey, I can see that Darling is more of like a champagne, um, whereas Sugar Honey is definitely more rose gold. So that's the differences between the two of them. Super pretty. This one, Snowbell. I thought this one was really unique because it's kind of like a matte glitter mix when there's no other glitters in it. It's just the white, just plain white. So I thought that was fun because you can't go wrong with plain white. Ooh, this one. I love this one because it's green. This one is called Sunburst. And this is, again, just one solid color, but it, it's a mix. So it's not, it's got all different sizes. That one's super pretty. This one is a silver mixed mix. And so it's just silver. So there's no holographic in it like the rainbow ones. Super pretty. I like that one. 
Um, I did grab a rainbow one called Chunky. So I do have the other rainbow ones, like the uh, mixed one and, and the fine one and stuff. But the Chunky one is all just the one size of glitter. Do you guys see in the lid? Super holographic too. My light's in here, dull hollow, but this makes its way through. Um, ooh, this one is called Tan Me. So this is a really, really beautiful kind of copper. Again, no holographic, no other colors. It's just the one color um, mix. So I really like that one, it's really pretty. I also got in Blossom. So I have, now I have the Mixed Blossom and the Medium Blossom. And so they're, again, just this one color. Same with the Medium. It's got no hollow in it. It's just like a beautiful uh, one color medium glitter. And then the Blossom Mixed is the same color but in a glitter mix. This one is a medium, and this one is called Glow. Um, I really like this one because it's holographic. So it's not like Royal, which is one color, and plain. This is a holographic one, and it's kind of like a rose gold. It's really pretty. Here's the lid. I'm not sure if I already showed you guys these ones, but this one is called Crystal, and it is mixed, and it's similar to this one, which is called Jewel Mixed, and these are so beautiful. I love these, like, iridescent ones. They're so pretty. So that's what I'm going to show you with the glitter. Another new thing that we got into the nail throne was the Glitter Bells um, paper forms. So these are beautiful floral forms. They have the cutouts in the corner here so that you don't have to cut them unless you want to. Um, they go up to a 14 so you can do super long nails or you can cut them off right here. They have like a little thing you can just pull off and make them short. So that's cool. They're super sticky and they come in a pack of 500. Look how big this roll is. So these are on the site right now too. Okay, some other things that we got in that I almost forgot to mention. We got in cube edge tips. That's so cool. I've never seen anyone use, well, I think I've seen one person use, but I can't wait to see more people using these. So if you guys get the cube edge tips, please tag me. I really, really want to see what people do with these. I can't wait to try these. And when my nails grow back, I'll do more videos on my hands. Another thing we got in, extreme length tips. So I'm going to insert um, a video here showing you guys the difference between the extreme length next to the long stilettos and the regular stilettos. And you guys can see they're almost double the length. So I'll show you guys on my fake hand here how long they are. Look how long these are. They're so long. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing some nails on myself that are super long like that. Okay, so I literally just finished this video and then I went outside and I saw I had a package. So I want to show you guys before, before I finish this video. <laughs> okay, someone messaged me after I posted like, I spilled a bunch of glitter everywhere and so someone messaged me and they were like, you need to get this tiny vacuum. So I did from Amazon. Um, it's basically like a teeny tiny little, oh my God, it's so cute, I'll show you. Okay, so it is a teeny tiny little vacuum. Oh no, it's mint colored, mint green. So it looks like it needs batteries, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I put the batteries in, let's turn this on. So let's purposely spill some glitter and give it a try. <laughs> let's see how this vacuum does. Oh no, I spilled some glitter. Whatever will I do? Well, you know what guys? Mini vacuum. Uh, that did not... What? <laughs> yeah, don't worry guys, it'll pick up the glitter. Maybe spread it everywhere else instead of picking it up. Oh my God. Whoops, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. We're gonna try it on the ground because that was a huge freaking fail and whoops. Look how slow it goes, come on. I mean, I guess it does. I'm finding that going back and forth yourself kind of helps pick up the glitter. So I guess it does work if you don't purposely spill glitter and then expect it not to go everywhere. So if you already have spilt glitter. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys like my setup. If you did, let me know down below. Also, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want and click the bell next to it to be notified when I post so you don't miss a video. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!